Welcome to Empower Your Pattern with President James Hendrick. Remember the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, success, confidence, and thrive coach, and adversity educator. He'll teach you the patterns of how to enjoy a better and extraordinary life right now, along with ways to cope with the adversities of everyday life. So if you come with us, we'll be ready. Let's fly. Well, hello and welcome to the Pattern Realm Center. I'm Jimmy, your host, and our episode today is DBE44. How can we be fishers of men? And I want to apologize. I meant to podcast a lot earlier today, but technical difficulties, and I got to say, this West Texas heat, it's getting old. <laughs> anyway, um, how can we be fishers of men? And seeing this has been recorded on a Saturday, I can tie it into uh, business and faith, okay? So if you will, I want you to go with me in your Bibles and go to... Um, Go to Luke chapter 5. Okay, so go with me to Luke chapter 5. This is an amazing story. I always come back to this sometime to illustrate some points in business. Now, let's get let's listen to this. Begin the verse 1. And it came to pass that as the people gathered upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little uh, from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now, when he had uh, left speaking, he said unto them, Launch out into the deep, and de- let down your nets for a catch. And watch this, verse 5. And Simon answering, said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the nets. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop with this one, if you will, because we can we can tie this especially into my networking business. Oh, but Lord, I've been making the phone calls. I've been inviting people to the Zooms and home meetings, and nothing's happened. But once again, like Simon, you can let down the nets and have faith. Okay? And when they had this um, this done, uh, they, enclo- they, um, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes. And their net break. It was breaking. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came 
and sealed both the ships so that they began to sink. Okay, verse 8, I want you to listen to this. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knee, uh, knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. And watch what Jesus said. Okay, this is what this. For he was astonished, and all that were with him. And the, and the catch of the fishes, which they had, had, had taken. Which is in verse. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee. Now this is what Jesus said. Uh, he said in, in verse 10. Uh, Fear not. From henceforth thou shalt catch men. Now, there's two meanings to that, if you will. The first one is rather obvious. The Lord Jesus is calling Simon Peter and his brother Andrew, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, to catch men for missionary work. His first four disciples. But I think it also got those tales into uh, the networking space. We're catching men, helping them change their lives. Okay? Now, can I say that this makes any changes in anything? It gives us a hint as to what Designing Belief Enterprise is, is about. And, and we've been needing, you know, it's not much of a hint, but it's a small hint. It's a small hint that's going to take us places, okay? And and we're, we're going to go, this next week, I promise you, we're going to go into more of a place where all those hints, those little, those little small hints that we have, it's where it starts to pay off. I promise. So I want you to think about this. We're called to catch men. As Christians, we're called to be missionaries, missionary work, being willing to talk to people about the Lord. And for me, and my calling, I'm being, I'm being called to talk about the Lord and His covenant path. All right? Being called to talk about the Lord and His covenant path. You may say, well, Jimmy, how long have you been using this analogy? Off and on. Get this, get this, okay? Off and on for a total of 28 years. Because I'm, uh, this is my fourth networking business model that I've been a part of. And to be honest with you, this one. Um, the business powered by ACM I've never been more passionate about than I am now but you think about it Simon Peter and, and, and Andrew James and John they saw what Jesus did you know and Peter said go away from me depart from me Lord I'm a sinful man and then Jesus said, from henceforth, thou shalt catch men. Now, are you ready for this? They forsook their full-time occupation of fishing to do what? follow Jesus and to preach the gospel to learn of him and to preach the gospel whether in business or in, in you know in temporal and spiritual the Lord is equipping us and who are we listen to me who are we 
if we don't let him equip us. Listen to me. We are called into holiness. We are called into being the best that we can be. And why not? Guys, we're worth it. That's like, okay, say I was running into some buddies, you know, we're all fishing and, uh, let's say that I have some buddies that have been fishing all of the morning on my game stand and hang down and catch nothing. And I'd be like, well, have your thoughts of pray about it? So we join and pray, and guess what? We catch a big catch. The thing is, the reason why the Lord called Simon and Andrew, and even James and John, to launch out to the deep, is he knew what was in the best interest of us. To catch men, to be fishers of men. So with that, I hope you enjoyed listening to Empower Your Pattern. If you'd like to hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Pattern Realm. This is Jimmy and Rick don't just sit down and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. And do what others want so you can be what others want. And do what others want so you can have what others can't. Please share this with Mamacito, Papacito, and everybody. This is Jimmy saying until next time, choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. Remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really, 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 really love you. God bless you, and please have a blessed day.